Hello everybody, welcome to this Excel 365 video on XLOOKUP. Specifically, we're going to look at how to make XLOOKUP into a binary search. Through my testing, I've discovered it doesn't really give you the speed benefit of a binary search if you're using a single lookup value. It does, however, work great if you're using a lookup value range. We have F5 to F10,000 instead of just F5 and then copying the formula down to the subsequent cells. When you do it this way, it's going to function as a spill function. You're going to put the formula in once and it's going to spill out all the results into the cells below the formula. To do a binary search, we have to sort our data, and we're going to do that within the formula so we don't have to sort our data on the spreadsheet. So we're going to do that by sorting the lookup array and sorting the return array, both in ascending order, all within the xlookup function. If there's no value found that's a match, we're going to give it a dash. And for match mode, we're choosing zero, which is exact match only, which most of the time you're going to want to only get an exact match when you're doing a vlookup or xlookup. And for search mode, we're doing two for binary search. So I've done some testing with this and I'll link that video over here to the right side where you can see the result of xlookup versus vlookup in the single lookup value versus the lookup value range as well as these sorting techniques used so we can do a binary search. And the results may surprise you. But anyway, check that video out. I had a lot of fun making it. Okay, so this is a perfect candidate for a lambda function because of how long this formula is. So I'm going to copy it to the clipboard and I'm going to go to Formulas, Name Manager, New, and I'm going to call this FLOOKUP for Fast Lookup. You can call it whatever you want though. And here you start typing Lambda equals Lambda. Then you put the inputs that you want as user input. So I'll put Lookup Val, Lookup Array, Return Array. And these are just variable names, they have to be one word. And then I'm gonna paste in the XLOOKUP that we had written. I'm gonna remove that extra equal sign. And now I'm just gonna replace these ranges with the variables. So lookup value, lookup array, return array. And I'm gonna leave this dash here, and I'm gonna leave the zero and the two to not be user inputs. So it's always gonna have them in there. I'm gonna close the parentheses and click okay, and then close this. And now I can get rid of this. I'm gonna input my new Lambda function equals F lookup. Then I'm gonna select my array. And the lookup array is gonna be here. And the return array is going to be here. And I'm going to close the parentheses and hit enter. And you can see that it returned all the results. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.